Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a free plugin to create a fully functional FAQ page on your WordPress website. You can create different categories for the FAQs and you can show them on your FAQ page. You can also create multi-column FAQs just like this. You can also limit number of FAQs to be shown on the page or you can add search bar at the top to search for the FAQs. So I'm going to install a free plugin. The name of the plugin is is ultimate FAQ accordion plugin this plugin has free as well as premium version so I'm going to start with the free plugin and I'll show you how you can create FAQ page how you can categorize them later I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin so this is going to be a fully customizable FAQ page you can use accordion or you can use toggles you can also limit the number of FAQs to be shown on a single page. So let's see how we can install a free plugin to create a fully functional FAQ page on your WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to install a free plugin to create FAQ page on your WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for ultimate FAQ accordion. So this is the plugin ultimate FAQ accordion plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and here it says, welcome to ultimate FAQs. Now here you can create categories. You can also start adding FAQs. Then we have add an FAQ page. You need to create a new page. You can create a page from here or you can create a new page from here. In the left-hand panel, you will see the option FAQs. In the left-hand panel, you will see the option FAQs. Click on it. So this is the dashboard of this plugin. You will see different options here dashboard faq add new faq categories tags and settings let's go to settings here and these are the basic settings you can select faq page from here so i'm going to create a new page here let's go to pages and click on add new page and let's name it as faq click on publish all right so the new page is created let's close this one and let's refresh this page and if I click on the drop down, you will see this page is added here. So I'm going to select this page as FAQ's main page. So all the FAQ's will be shown on this page. If you want to enable scroll to top option, you can simply click on it. It will add scroll to top. When someone clicks on it, it will go to the top section of the page. Turn on comment support. I'm going to enable this one and I'll show you what does this mean. Disable micro data, include permalink permalink destination disable permalink pages so i'm not going to make any changes here below that we have functionality disable faq toggle faq accordion faq category toggle so i'm not going to make any changes again here and i'm going to save these changes and later we will go through these changes again so click on save changes then we have ordering these are the ordering settings group faqs by categories so if you are creating different categories you can group them by categories all right so i'll not enable it right now because that we have premium this is for the premium plugin fields is also for the premium plugin labeling and styling is also for the premium plugin all right so let's go to categories here the faq categories and currently we do not have any categories so i'm going to create some categories I can add the name this is common maintenance the first category i'm just adding some dummy categories and i'm going to add some dummy faqs also this is a second category all right so i have created five different categories now let's go to dashboard again and now we are going to add some sample faqs so click on faqs you will see that we do not have any FAQ here. So I'm going to click on add new FAQ. All right, for the title, I'm going to add the question here. And for the answer, this is the answer for this particular question. So we have the question and the answer. In the right hand panel, go to FAQ here. You will see the settings here. We have created different categories. So you can select the category for this particular question. So this will be under, let's say, common maintenance 
FAQ tags. If you want to create tags, you can also create tags. Discussion, if you want to allow comments, you can allow comments for this question or you can disable it. So currently I'm going to disable the comments and click on publish. So we have added one question here. Let's click on add new FAQ. Let's add another question. And this is the answer. You can also add other blocks to the question. Let's say I want to add pros and cons for this particular question. So it will be added here. If you want to add image, you can also add image. So you are going to use the Gutenberg block editor to create the questions and answers page. So let's add this image here. So I'm just adding some random data here. Let's go to FAQ and let's add the category here and allowed comments i'm going to keep it as it is enabled click on publish so we have added second question now i'm going to add some more faqs and i'm going to add some categories for these faqs also all right so here i have added some faqs so let's go back to the dashboard and let's refresh this page so here we have added six different faqs and you will see the categories for all these faqs all right let's close it now let's go to pages so we have created the faq page so let's open the faq page this is the page let's click on view and you will see that all the faqs are added on the faq page so if i click on it it will open the answer and you can see that leave a comment option is there for each faq all right now let's go back to the settings and we are going to change some settings click on it Okay, so this is the basic FAQ settings. If I drop down, you will see disable FAQ toggle should the FAQs open on a separate page when clicked. So if you click on this FAQ, it is going to open a separate page for this FAQ. So instead of opening and closing the toggle or the accordion, it is going to open a separate page for this FAQ. If I enable this option, FAQ accordion should the FAQ accordion only one FAQ is open at a time. So if I go here and if I open this third FAQ, you will see it is open. If I open the fourth one, you will see that the third and fourth, both the FAQs are open. If I open the fifth one, you will see all the FAQs are open here. If you do not want that option, if you want only one FAQ to be opened, you can enable this option, FAQ accordion. So instead of toggle, it is now going to switch to accordion. Only one FAQ will remain open at the same time. FAQ category toggle should the FAQ categories hide open when they are clicked. FAQ ex expand or collapse all. Let's enable this option. So we have enabled these two options. Let's save the changes and let's see how does this look. Let's refresh it. All right. So you can see that we have got new option here. Expand all. If I click on it, it will expand all the FAQs and you can see all the FAQs are opened. And if I click on collapse all, it will close all the FAQs. So this is the option that we have enabled FAQ expand or collapse all. Now if I click on the first accordion and then if I go to third accordion, you will see that the first accordion or the first FAQ will close if I open any other FAQ. So if I go to this one, it will open and the previous one will close. So this is the option here FAQ accordion. Hide categories. Now here if I go to you will see that the category is mentioned here. If you do not want this, you can simply disable this from here. Hide tags. If you create tags and if you do not want to show it, you can hide the tags. Display all answers. Should all answers be displayed when the page loads? So it will open all the FAQs. Display post author. You will see post author is there. So if you do not want, you can simply disable it from here. Display post date. If you want to display the post date, you can enable this option. Display back to top. Enable this. Click on save. Let's refresh it. Let's open this one and you will see back to top option is enabled here. Okay, now let's go to the next option ordering. Currently, you can see that all the FAQs are lined up. There is no categorization. If you want them to categorize, you can simply enable this option group FAQs by category display FAQ category count. You can enable this option also and sort the categories according to name or FAQ count or slug. 
right so i'm going to leave it as it is click on save changes and now let's go back and refresh it you will see that all these faqs are categorized now we have two faqs in this category common maintenance one faq in this category one faq in this and one faq in this category all the faqs are categorized so if you have different categories you can enable this option to categorize all the faqs now if you do not want this comment support if you do not want them to add comment for each faq you can also disable that option and you will see this option turn on comment support you can disable this option save the changes refresh it now if i open it you will see that the comment option is not there anymore so you can disable it from there right now the next option is premium and for that we need a premium plugin so i do have the access to premium plugin so i'm going to install this premium plugin and i'll show you the difference between the free and the premium plugin in order to activate the premium plugin you need to install the premium helper plugin you can go to their website and you can download the awd premier helper plugin from here so i have already downloaded it and i'm going to install it now so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin click on upload plugin and upload the premium helper plugin install it activate it let's go to faqs again and now you will see an option here to enter the product key so when you buy this premium plugin you will get the license key you need to enter the license key here so i'm going to add the license key here click on unlock premium all right so now we do have the access to premium version let's go to settings here now you can see that we have got an option here import and export so if you want to import faqs you can import the faq from here if you want to export your faqs you can export the faqs let's go to settings let's go to premium now here you can see different style settings for this premium plugin if you need any help you can also watch this video tutorial faq display style is currently default if I change it to a block and save the changes, let's see how does this look. Refresh it. All right, you will see some changes are there. This is the accordion block. You will see the block here for each question and answer. You can have border block, contemporary, list, minimalist. Number of columns currently it is set to one column. If you want, you can create multiple columns. I'm going to select two columns responsive columns yes we need responsive columns reveal effect let's say how should faqs be displayed when their titles are clicked faqs per page if you want to limit faqs per page you can enter the number here distinct pages faq page type will be distinct pages faq ratings if you want to enable faq ratings you can also enable faq ratings here then we have pretty permalink faq slug base social media options are there you can also enable these options we will enable them and we will see how does this look woocommerce faqs you can enable the woocommerce faqs option here use a woocommerce product object so we are going to enable this option should the faq tab to be set up using woocommerce product object wp forms integration if you are using wp forms you can enable this one faq autocomplete titles should the faq titles autocomplete when using faq search score faq elements order category body author date so this is the order of the elements in the faqs so at the top it will show category just like this if i click on it it will show category then body author date custom fields it will be shown here Okay, now click on save changes, refresh it. Okay, you will see that we have two columns. In this particular category, we have two FAQs and these FAQs are arranged in two columns. This is because we set this two column here. So this is how it will work. And here you will see the option, share Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. So this is because we have enabled these options here. Okay, I'm going to change the display style to border block. Next is fields. Let's go to fields. Now here you can create custom fields for each FAQ. A labeling. These are the FAQ page and search labels posted by on categories. 
okay so we can keep them as it is the default settings let's go to styling and these are the styling options currently it is using plus minus you can change the icons toggle a background color you can set the background color from here toggle color is there then we have toggle border color font size border size border radius these are the theme settings you can change the font family and color settings for the theme faq element so these are all style settings for the faqs you can make changes you can change the color settings from here let's go ahead and refresh it all right so this is the border style and all the faqs are in two columns all right let's go back let's go to premium now here you can set the number of FAQs to be shown on per page. Let's set it to number two and I'm going to click on load more button. So we are going to enable load more button. Save the changes. Let's refresh it. All right. So you can see that on each page it is going to show only two FAQs. Then I can click on load more option and it will load more FAQs. Similarly, you can use infinite scroll to load more FAQs or you can use distinct pages. Select distinct pages and click on save changes. Refresh it. All right, so it will show two FAQs, then go to next. On the next page, it is going to show two FAQs, then go to next. And it will go to the next two FAQs. This is a demo website and this website does have WooCommerce functions. So I'm going to one of the products here. Let's click on all products. Let's open one product here. And you will see that the FAQ option is added on this product page. So from here, you can add FAQs for this product. These are the FAQs which are already added. We added these FAQs. If you want to add more FAQs, you can simply click on this one and add new FAQ for this particular product. So I'm going to select some FAQs here and click on update. Let's open this product. Let's open this product, scroll down and FAQ will be shown here. Currently it is not showing it because I'm using the Elementor theme builder. So I can add that option in the theme builder for the single product page and it will be shown here. So you can use this plugin to create FAQs for your WooCommerce product page also. So it is very easy to create a fully functional FAQ page for your WordPress website using the free plugin. If you want advanced features, then you can also go for the premium version of this plugin. And the pricing of the premium version is only $67 for a single website lifetime. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.